Today, we wanted to walk you through our trip to Cancun, Mexico, and show you some of the things we wish we knew before going. Once you get through the airport gate, there will be staff wearing uniforms who will have your name on their list. They will escort you to the shuttle and transport you safely to your hotel. Right at the airport, we were greeted with timeshare staff who were trying to sell us cheaper excursion and traveling packages. But we were told by different sources to find packages from trusted dealers inside our hotel or online. We finally arrived at our room after four hours of waiting. Yay. In our all-inclusive hotel Dream Sands, we are not required to wear a wristband, which is a total plus. And instead, we are to provide the staff with our name and room number before eating at a restaurant. There are plenty of restaurants to choose from, so we got to eat a variety of meals during our stay. But we still missed out on a couple since most of the choices are dinner only. So make your choice wisely. Watch out for dress code though, because not all restaurants welcome shorts and sandals. Today we're visiting the adult only restaurant, Sands and Waves. So I was asked to change into a long pants if I wanted to be uh, inside the restaurant or else I have to be outside. And uh, here's what I have. And this is what I have now. So I, I think I can pass through, right? Like water shoes, and they're black. And uh, they're, they're black pants, they're long pants. So everything think I'm okay. I think I'm okay, right? So it looks like I made it in with my pants and my formal attire. It was so hard for us to decide which one we want to get, but we decided on the octopus capaccio. Um, we also decided on the lettuce and citrus salad because we need some veggie and the popcorn shrimp. And the main course, Johnny's gonna take the surf and turf, and I'm gonna do the scallop and shrimp duel. So we'll see how that turns out, and if I have the stomach for it, I'm gonna try this crunchy pistachio. Yeah. <laughs> There are five bars and nine restaurants. A gym, a spa, variety of ethnic restaurants are available, such as Asian, French, Italian, Mediterranean, Mexican, Western, and international buffet for dinner. Mediterranean, Western, and international buffet for lunch and breakfast. For snack options, there's also coffee shop that serves specialty coffee, crepes, and different types of pastries. Good morning! So we just sneaked into the other uh, resort's beach and it looks it looks to me like um, beaches are public probably because we've been doing that a few times and we nobody has said anything to us. And I, we noticed other people cross over other beaches as well. But obviously we don't want to walk quite into their hotels. The hotel staff was super friendly and they worked diligently to make sure you had enough beach towels, drinks and a clean space. During our stay in Cancun, we found it very safe inside and outside our hotel. There are occasional people walking by the edge of the beach selling coconuts, sunglasses, services like braiding hair. They simply just pass by you and does not pester you at all. Ta-da! Ta-da! We found a spot! <laughs> 
this is our plan. We're planning to go in there to take a couple of photos because that's all we want. Um, just to introduce these beds. I don't know what they're called, but they need to be reserved. But they cost the extra hundred dollars US a day, not by hours, but a day. Uh, and we noticed that this one is reserved and it's been empty for quite some time. We're gonna go in. So we're gonna sneak in there. Where I need to go up back to the hotel to grab something, and then uh, I'm gonna set things up. It's almost sunrise. I mean sunset, and uh, I'm gonna do as many photo as many photos as we can. And hopefully the person who reserved it is not going to arrive here. So, I'm going to get home. Just packed everything. I got the sunscreen, the new lens, camera, tripod. During our stay in Dream Sands, there were a variety of services available. Travel agency desks are grouped together in one area with a few convenient stores for souvenirs or necessities. There is a small booth for late night snacks available after 10 p.m. after most restaurants are closed. Room service is also available anytime. They even have a few spas. Live entertainment is also available. Be sure to check out their daily schedule so you don't miss out on any major events or shows. While you're resting on the main area by the beach, there may be staff inviting you to join them in activities like ocean volleyball, group dance lessons, in a pool or the beach, or campfire night. And here's a list of things to consider when you're booking your all-inclusive vacation. Number one, the number of restaurants because you don't want to be eating the same thing over and over again. Number two, is reservation required with any restaurants? And number three, free Wi-Fi, is it available? Number four, be sure to check to ensure you are actually booking an all-inclusive vacation while searching for one. I've had seen listings with no meal plans at all. There's so many fish here. It's so cool. Seriously. Just, just try it. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to go, then just don't go. Just swim. Just put this away. Up to you. I cannot believe how bad she swims. Did not realize how bad and how scared she is in water. Like, is she even from Hong Kong? Nobody knows. Currently, we're trying to help her swim. I am her hoverboard. In sunset, though. So let us enjoy the sunset.
are currently in search of the best sunrise again. It is gated, but we kind of won't pass it. But um, apparently, we are allowed to go there. See that person who was uh, yeah, that person who was there. I thought she's uh, she's a resident of this hotel. Um, but again, we are allowed to be on the beach, but just not past the, the dock point. So I wish we could. I wish we could bring you more sunrise, but. That's as much sunrise as I can bring you in for now. Um, the weather really took a turn in like literally 30 minutes we're here. Take a look. So we're all packed up. And uh, we just want to enjoy our balcony just one last time. It's really windy today. Ugh. So I guess there's no formal ways but to say goodbye to Cancun and to the wonderful place in here in Dream Sands. We're unsponsored, unadvertising at all. Like, we're not doing any of that. We just seriously, we enjoyed the stay and we are super impressed with this place mm -hmm. so i guess we i would just set off a drone if i am allowed to and just be like bye but we can't so we're just gonna say bye here so bye, bye. <laughs> set off a drone <laughs> except it doesn't yeah Ah! Uh... <laughs>